in this problem, it's asking us to solve for arc length. And remember, arc length is a type of, or it's a part of the circumference. So circumference would go all the way around the circle. And this is just one little piece of that whole thing around the circle. So I'm going to write our formula down that we've been using. Uh, arc length is the circumference, 2 pi r. And then remember, we have to multiply by that fraction, which is the number of degrees over 360 because it's a total of 360. So we just substitute in. We have 2 pi. Our radius here is 5. The degrees is 50. OK? And the question asks us to leave it in terms of pi. So that means we're going to multiply all these other numbers but we're not going to put pi in the calculator. Pi is just going to stay there. Remember that you have to put pi in your answer. If you just write the numbers, it's going to be wrong. So I'm going to do this in my calculator real quick. OK, so I got, um, hold on. Okay, I got 1.389. My calculator gives it in a fraction, which is why it took me so long, so I can show you that, but it's 25 over 18. Okay, and conventionally, we, we write the pi after the number. Technically, in terms of math, it doesn't make any difference, but it just looks better to write it like this. Okay, so this would be your answer or you could write it as a fraction either way um, and again we just plugged everything into the formula the radius went here the number of degrees went here and I multiplied all of these three numbers together and I just left the pi on the side the pi didn't disappear and in case you need to see how it's gonna look in the calculator because I know that fraction is sometimes confusing it's 2 times 5 times 50 and then division 360 so that's how it would look, and that gives you 1.389, and then you just stick your pi onto the end of it. So that's it.